Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Factorium. We are deep in military research. That's because last time we built up this beauty, which produces military science, and we want to make use of that. Uh, so while that's going on on the side, there is something else that we can do in the meantime. Uh, we have researched quite a, a few things, um, but what I'm most excited about is the electric uh, locomotive. Uh, so we can replace all our trains with electric trains and no more running around filling up um, filling up uh, locomotives with wood or coal. We also got um, cargo wagons and uh, fluid wagons with more capacity, but I don't think we, we actually need those. So today we want to focus on a factory that can produce the electric locomotive and we will also need these control stations um, uh, in order to power the rail network with, um, uh, with electricity. Uh, we also had the uh, next level of uh, uh, modules researched, as well as some uh, of the military aspects that we already did uh, before starting this episode. So I had a sneak peek uh, here what what we need, uh, and uh, actually we are not only interested in the locomotive but also in this thing um, and actually no well not really because we only need one control station per network and as our whole network is connected to the same thing, to the same rail, we only need one, so we can craft that by hand. And as you can see, I have uh, dug into this, this topic um, and uh, drilled down here to the raw resources um, so basically we will not really need to have a high output of these uh, these uh, locomotives that's why i went here with uh, uh, point uh, one uh, per uh, per second and that will be enough and we already finished uh, uh, the, all the military research so let's just queue up uh, more of that because we are researching quite fast so uh, let's just get things out of the way and here we were so basically the challenge here I think is probably uh, we need six input materials. Uh, we don't need to have a station for the for the output, but that at least means on two sides we have two stations delivering material. And looking at what we have most is uh, iron and copper. That's that's what we need most uh, and I think the, the, the fluid things they are not that complicated because we can have underground pipes and uh, uh, 
things like that, so that should not be a real problem. But we have to figure out where we want to place it. And it's either this one here or that one down here. And whichever one it is not, that will be the square um, where we will focus the next project on. So I actually think uh, maybe we will do it uh, up here, uh, which means a bit more clearing of trees for me before we can actually get started. Thinking about the uh, ingredients that we need, uh, we have uh, coal and petroleum that we need together. And so that could go on one side and then we can have uh, sulfuric acid and lubricant on the opposite side uh, because lubricant we only need for this step and uh, the sulfuric acid we only need for this step so it's only uh, for for these two steps and I think because it's a bit tricky with the with the layout to get that right uh, with signaling and so um, I will just copy uh, this here and I think we will have those going here on these ends. So we can have copper and iron on the on the vert vertical side. So then the only question here that needs to be figured out is what goes where and I think here we will have uh, lubricant delivery um, it's probably in here And that would then make this one the sulfuric acid delivery. This one. And then we can have. On the lower side, we can have coal and petroleum. And there we probably need some additional trains. We might also need uh, uh, ones for up there, or at least for, uh, for the uh, um, sulfuric acid. Uh, so let's make this. Ah, uh, yeah. More research, and we do have ourselves a tank. Uh, let's not yet look into that. Let's figure out everything else that we can still research, get that out of the way. And then this would be um, petroleum gas delivery. And we have another train stuck. So let me grab a few of uh, these a lot parts that we have here and uh, deal with that train place in the remaining uh, stations and uh, 
a zinc, also the, the iron and copper one, and then have also some smelting going. The essentials are in all the stations, all the smelting for iron, steel and copper. So now we can actually turn on to the higher tier products. And I think the first one will be down here um, with this plastics. So that's basically combining these two together to have um, one chemical factory left. Probably that's not enough. So let's connect here. Bring that around there. And we only need one of these. Need a bit of bit of power. There. Um next We need low-density structures, which is plastic, steel, and copper. Copper we have here. And as I'm not yet sure where we where we'll need copper overall. Let's just bring it down and then we can see. Um, maybe we can bring this out on this side. Steel we also will need in multiple places. Let's bring this down here. structures we need a lot of a um, lot of uh, copper I think it was six stations in total so let's do it this way after the copper on the near belt And then everything else combined on the, the belt farther away. Combine these two together like that and bring everything up here. Um, bit of power connection and then. Circuits. Um, if we 
for green circuits we also need iron iron we have still down there so that's the circuits that's the wires make it like this And we also need the, um, the the copper wires for other things, so not only for the, the circuits. So this here is where we will add the iron. And I did not think that I would need that many belts for this but apparently I once again misjudged that was our factory right next door that's a short way What's next? By the way, the uh, electric trains, they come from um, a mod that I added here, but that's not part of the, of the vanilla game. Just in case you're wondering, so what's next we have that and we need the pipes and I'm just adding things together here um, I can put those on the other side of this one we need gears. Um, gears, they are in here. Um, and put them out there. That means we have everything for our motors. So let's bring that over here. Have steel going off from here. Do we need gears and pipes? No. So, motors. Then I'm thinking Maybe let's move it one up so we can. 
can have tunnels on all of these. Um, and then locomotive. There we just need the green circuits in addition. Lost the steel. That's the locomotive. And then the electric one. That's this. That. And batteries and electric motors. Um, batteries are probably this. How about the, the ratio? One, two. Okay. There we need two. Let's make that input go over there. And that one most likely. Here we need motors. Lubricant. Which is somewhere up here. And we need yellow circuits. At uh, the yellow, the green circuits. Um. I'm thinking we can add those on the other side here. And if we make this a long tunnel, and then use this trick. Should get them on the other side. So I need a bit of power going there. And on here we probably want a chest for our product. And let's bring the sulfur down here. Plus the copper. Uh, 
How are we gonna steal iron? Ah, uh, I think if we had long-handed inserter here, right? And we can have this going there. And we get batteries. Yes. So nice. Um. Oh, that was the problem. Actually, we could use this. That seems to work. And we should soon see our first electric, electric uh, locomotive. And then we have to go around and uh, replace uh, all the locomotives with the electric ones. And we also have to have one of these. And they basically go by the side of the railway to, to power the whole thing. And we only need one per um, rail system. So let's see, we have 37 trains. So let's wait until we have 37 uh, electric locomotives and then we can go around and uh, replace them. We finally have the 37 uh, electric locomotives and I did a bit a miscalculation because we should actually have uh, five uh, assembly machines for the uh, uh, the motors uh, so it took a bit longer so let's see how we can do with uh, with replacing these uh, machines uh, I imagine that replacement of the ones that where we only have one train Yep. Ah, the the schedule to was was taken over. Uh, not the the color, however, that was not. But this way or that way. Yeah. Okay. So I will go around and uh, replace uh, all the uh, engines and uh, then we should be rid of the filling up of uh, fuel that we have to do every so often. So hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, join me next time when we will see what we can do then goodbye